Hello everybody. In today's video I show you how to open the SAP GUI automatically with the help of Excel VBA. I also pass the necessary login information to the SAP GUI so that no more input is required from the user here. So I have already created a script in one of my former videos. I will link you the video at the top right and we export here some entries from the table S flight to an Excel file. And if we click here on this button, the script is executed. You see in the background here, the script is executed and some records are selected. We see the records here in the Excel and the Excel file is downloaded locally to my computer. But if we close the, the window and the SAP GUI, and if we execute the script now again, we click on the button here, we get an error. So if we click on the bug, we see here we have that we have no object, we have no SAP GUI object. And now we try to call the SAP GUI with Excel VBA. So let's copy this script into another macro. So I'm in the developer tab here. And I click on macros and here I create a new one. I type here two and I click on the button create. Then I paste the, my code here. And next we delete the uh, declaration of the variables and we create some new variables. So we need for this example, the variables SAP GUI app connection session and WSH shell. Next we call the shell command. And for this, we need the location of the SAP logon.exe file. So I copy this path here and paste it to my script. Then I add the SAP logon.exe and I type here we be normal focus. Next I write set WSH shell is create object W script dot shell. Okay, then we knew we need a do loop do until WSH shell app activate SAP logon application dot wait now plus time value and I pick here two seconds seconds because we set the delay here to ensure that the shell logon is available for the further commands. Then we set WSH shell is nothing. And then we set the variables. Set SAP GUI is get object SAP GUI. Set app is SAP GUI dot get scripting engine set connection is app dot open connection and here we pass the name of our SAP system so for this I open the SAP logon and here is the name of my SAP system ABAP 752 so I type here ABAP 752 true and last set session is connection dot children zero okay 
Next, we pass the necessary parameters for the logon. For this, we need the client, the mandant, the username, password, and the language. And so I type here this command dot text is zero zero one. This is my client on my test system. Next, I can copy this string. And the next parameter is the username, the B name. Dot text is developer. Next, a password, and here I have to change the txt to pwd. <coughs> and here my password, unfortunately, in plain text. Next, the language. The text is en. And then we have to simulate and pressed button, a button press. So I type here T power zero, PTN zero dot press. Okay, so let's save this code and go back to the Excel and I add now another button. Then I set the second macro here and I change the text to script two. So and now we have no open SAP GUI, so let's press the button. We see the GUI is opened. Script is attempting to access SAP GUI. We click on OK. Next, the script is opening a connection to our SAP system. We click OK. Then the parameters are passed, developer username and password, and then we see the script is executed. These are our results and the downloaded Excel file. And we can now run the script without having to start the SAP GUI first and without having to log into an SAP system first. And this part of the code does that. Okay, so that was it already. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also write something in the comments, I always like to read them. Take care and see you on the next video.